Welcome back, everyone, to Get With The Programming as we peek behind the programming for day three of the Legends Masters Championship. I'm chasing with Bill Grundler. We have Joe Lynn and Bob Jennings of the Legends Competition going through the programming for day number three. We've had six events for the 54 and under and five events for the 55 and older. And we kick things off with event number seven on Saturday. Yeah, so uh, workout seven is actually a two-part workout. This is the first of our two two-part workouts, so it's seven and eight. And uh, this workout is – workout seven is Sex Panther. And, <laughs> and workout eight is 60% of the time it works every time. Oh, perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. Uh, so um, – this this is the workout that we alluded to the other day, right? Which was the kind of the workout that we built. Okay, the focal day, point. Right? Yeah, and uh, so it's it's an eighteen minute total cap that's broken okay. up into three parts. Wow. So, uh, minute zero to four uh, is a one rep max snatch. Mm. So four minutes to establish a one rep max snatch. Okay. Uh, one minute break. Uh, one minute break from minute four to five to reset, and then an eight-minute metcon of um, ascending skill gymnastics, uh, heavy wall balls, and weighted double unders. So okay. it goes, uh, twenty toes to bar, twenty-five wa uh, heavy wall balls, thirty heavy double unders. So it's a Kronos rope for the ladies, Hades for the men. Then it's uh, 20 pull-ups, 25 wall balls, 30 double-unders. Then 20 chest-to-bar, 25 wall balls, 30 double-unders. Okay. Then you get another one-minute rest, and then you you have four minutes to do a one-rep max clean. Ooh. So, so Sex Panther is the Metcon, and then 60% of the time it works every time is the combined weight of the snatch and the clean. Oh, wow. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Is it uh, the wall ball weight, 30 and 20? Is that heavy? Yeah, 30 and 20. Yep. 30 and 20. And just because me and Bill are snobs, what's the height? Oh, uh, 10 and 9. Ah! You're being nice to me. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Chivalry. Chivalry. <laughs> uh, that's a good way to put it. I like that. <laughs> that's a good way to put it. Okay. Okay. So starting with a one max snatch, squat, power, split, power over. However you want to do it. Okay. Just don't yep. hurt yourself. Grand overhead in one motion. 60 second break. And then you have 20, 25, and 30 of a gymnastics movement. Yep. Toes of bar, pull ups, chest of bars. You go from one round one to round three. But the 25 and the 30 stay the same for the wall balls and the heavy double unders. Correct. And then if you're done early before the eight minute cap, you get more rest. You get more rest. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then at the four or 15 minute mark, minutes. 14 minute mark, 14 yeah. minute mark, then you have another four minutes to establish a one rep max clean. Correct. What made you pick snatch first and clean second? Uh, I, I don't know. Joe, Joe's originally came up with this workout. So yeah. Yeah. So, uh, we did this workout, what, a couple months ago, three months ago, Bob? It was, uh, like a month before the games. Yeah. So, oh yeah. Okay. So I had an idea, I had an idea for like a championship workout and we were going up to Orange County to, um, work out with some, uh, legends people that did the competition last year. And I had this workout in my head. I'm like, look, I got to test it out. I want these people to test it out. So how do I, you know, make them think like they made a workout with me when really they're just going to do what I told them. <laughs> so <laughs> we, yeah, we, I was like, I right, ever warm up in, uh, in like five minutes. I want you guys to all come at me with a movement and I'm going to make a workout with you guys based off what you said. So they all gathered yeah. around and they all spit out some movements. I was like, oh, cool. Let's do some lifting. They're like, all right, cool. Snatch and clean and jerk. I was like, all right, cool. I wrote that on the board and then, I had each one, each person spit out a movement, and uh, there was a bunch of stuff in there. And I was like, oh, why not maybe double unders? They're like, oh, yeah, that's cool. I'm like, all right, cool. So we had basically a list of like 10 movements. And I was like, all right, cool. Go finish your warm-up. I'm going to write this up based off what you guys told me, when in reality, it was already in my head. <laughs> so I wrote off what I wanted them to do. I was like, all right, here's this and here's this. Uh, it was slightly different. So like the jump rope was uh, a little bit lighter. It was just your personal jump rope, but a lot a lot more reps. 
Yeah. And uh, why we chose Snatch first? Well, why I chose Snatch first? Just because I want to see people lift as much possible weight as, as they can. And so let's put the more complicated movement first and then clean with, you know, you have a bigger margin of error with the clean than the snatch. You know, we'll put that second and they've already, you know, taxed their shoulders enough so far in this workout and the full championship. So we could take the jerk out. So we get to see a lot of skill with the snatch and then some kind of brute power, you yeah. know, if need be in the clean. And then just sandwich in some uh, the ascending gymnastics I like, where it's not too crazy high in reps, but to definitely keep moving through this workout, you're going to have to be efficient. And um, that's where I, you know, I see people, especially when you get to that 20 uh, chest bar, like it's going to, you're going to see the fatigue there. And uh, without total volume, not being too crazy high in the gymnastics. So... That's why we chose the lifts in that order, and um, that's kind of how the whole workout slowly right. came to be into this. Even this went through four revisions, I think. But uh, it's yeah. pretty. This one's going to be super exciting. I love this event. It's awesome. Yeah. It's I cool love thing. it, <laughs> and, and I, I, I'm totally with you on the like. I, it's kind of this. I threw out the question, but I already knew what the answer should be. So I'm glad you <laughs> answered it the way you did. <laughs> Same thing, yeah, a way to yeah. create this one is like putting snatch first, letting people be somewhat fresh, right? In the right. safest way possible, hit a snatch, do the Metcon, which is just a classic cross it with a little twist, mm -hmm. and then putting a clean at the end is like, all right. And, and as Bob was saying, it's like earn your strength, like earn yes. your lift. It's like, all right, we're going to test the skill, we're going to do something high skill, but you know, high power and strength oriented with the snatch. And then at the end, when you're smoked, like how brute, like how brutally strong are you still? after all that and putting the clean in there. I, I love this event Yeah, and I want to program this. I'm just going to, I'm going to steal all your events. And program <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Take sneak, it. sneak them into the programming this week. Right. Yeah. Um, the, uh, you know, the, the other really cool thing about this, um, you know, Dave is such a, a Dave Newman from uh, RX Mark here, like such a huge yeah. supporter of, of legends Great and dude, the the way. Just a yeah, great guy. So awesome, cool. awesome guy, guy. And, um, it, you know, I, I love the heavy ropes because they, they create, they, they create a stimulus that just, it's hard to replicate. Right. Yeah. Um, Joe and Dave and I were having a conversation about this the other day, you know, for really good um, double under people using a speed rope these days, double unders are essentially a break. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Great time. Except, it, for it, like, Except for me. <laughs> but it, like when you look at the pros even go at this point, it's like, all right, there's a workout with 300 double unders, right? And first and 40th are separated by like two seconds. It's like, well, what's, what's the point? And like, there's no other monostructural where, you know, that long of a, of a, uh, of a test would be separated by so little. And so th this creates a, a totally different dynamic. And the way your heart rate spikes oh, on man. heavy double unders is like nothing else, man. It's the highest thing my whoop has ever recorded was. was <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it, it's um, I, I that would be pretty shocking to people. We, we did have them in in uh, Legends last year, so the people that competed mm -hmm. last year will, will be used to it, and and. You know, we, we gave people a teaser and, and uh, our Instagram has been flooded with people smacking their toes with these, you know, steel oh, cables and stuff. Yeah. But um, it, it's, uh, it, it'll definitely, it'll create the stimulus that we want where like people are going to be really fatigued going into that clean. And like, you got to earn your strength and you've got to earn your strength. You can't yeah. just be raw, you know, Hulk smash. Like you really have to earn it here. I like so, you, you have. Sorry, go ahead, Bill. No, I was just gonna say, I, the, I, I like the double on a part. Like honestly, for me, the heavier rope, I do better with the heavier rope personally because it slows me way down. Yeah. So all of a sudden, I can get those. Like, I, what calls? What I'm staring at when I'm looking at this right here is 75 heavy wall balls having to exactly. go into a max one rep clean. I'm like, what? Yeah. Like, Double unders. I'm not even yeah. looking at those, man. I'm like thinking how big yeah. my quads are going to be going into the one rep max clean and having to pull, <laughs> knowing 
knowing that like okay everyone i think generally speaking you're going to have the masters athletes well for the most part your better guys and girls are going to be within 15 pounds but the clean can be a big difference you can gain you can get a lot there if you have the strength but you're right you got to earn that by getting through blasting your legs on having to go i mean you got to you have to virtually do the wall balls unbroken you yep. have to if you want to get a good yeah. time on because that because that's a race in itself so you have to push those you know so like your legs are going to be blown going to the clean which i think is awesome yeah <laughs> yeah but i like this setup because one like if i had bob is doing this workout and i'm coaching him through it uh you know i think that he's gonna he's gonna do well in all three I'm like yeah. well we're gonna get we're gonna kick some ass here now with me if I was doing this, I'm like, all right, well, I am bad at keeping my power high after a workout. Like all the open workouts, anytime I have the one rep max after a bunch of stuff, I'm yes. effing terrible. <laughs> it, it sucks. And so, and I like to be, when Bob and I program, we like to compare like, hey, how would you do versus me? And so if this was Bob versus me, like, I think I could win the snatch. I'm not going to win the clean. That's just not going to happen. <laughs> so I'm like, all right. I need to win the stash, and I have to win the Metcon, even though, like you just said, Bill, those 75 heavy wall balls, that's going to take a lot out of me. And I'm yeah. pretty much looking at this for myself. All right, do as well as you can in the snatch, crush the Metcon, sell my soul. Whatever I get in the clean, I don't think is going to change my placing that much because it's going to be at the bottom anyway. And so, But hopefully those other two can level me out a little bit to where it's Bob. I'm like, we would actually probably break up the wall ball if I was programmed for him. Just because I'm like, hey, we need to take advantage of your clean strength because yeah. we can uh, sacrifice yeah. 10 to 15 seconds in the Metcon to gain 20 pounds in the clean. So I think it's going to be a, a big factor on who is going too big on the wall ball. Yeah, I think it just goes to the whole event that you have is there's so much strategy that can go in, into this based off your skill sets and your strength. Right? Yeah. It's like you guys have had a lot of high skill gymnastics in day one one day two and you're somebody's like oh that's not gonna be bad it's like you're right and that's not even the workout like that has nothing to, this, to me i i don't i'm not even working <laughs> at those like that to me is where i get to take my my rest but the heavy wall ball is going to jack your heart rate up something fierce and you couple that with the heavy double unders after that so yeah. yes going into that clean you better have all your ducks in a row or else you're gonna have a rude awakening going into that and i I love it because you get a fresh lift, you get a tax lift, then you get those little gymnastic Metcon freaks, a bone, but not a full one because of the weight of the wall ball and the heavy double under. So I, I really think you're right. The, you guys said you, you have an event to center around the competition. And I was like, okay, well, oh, I can't wait to see what this is. And you have done it beautifully. I think this is, this is a, a, a keystone event to center around a competition around this is this is wonderful you guys did a masterful job here yeah Thanks, i man. like this one it's good yeah, this, this one last year so last year we had a workout scheduled on day one that was um it was an only total right so it was a one rep max snatch and then a one rep max clean and jerk and it was going to be on day one and uh you know as we said last year we had to move the event to a parking lot in arizona and it rained for the first time in 110 days. <laughs> right? And uh, I was sitting there in my truck, you know, looking out at the sky, and it is pouring <laughs> rain on top of us, like absolutely oh. pouring rain. And yeah. everywhere we look off in the horizon, perfectly sunny. Right? <laughs> yeah. And we're like, what is going on? Yeah. You know, I got, my, uh, I got my app open. I could see the Doppler. It was like this a purple strip. <laughs> traveling right over us for the next yeah. even three hours. Yeah. I'm like, what is this? this? <laughs> yeah. You know, and this is after like, you know, uh, do we or do we not have COVID? You know, like we had a response <laughs> home, right? Like the whole thing is, is and this uh, is day one, right? And, uh, and so ultimately we decided to cancel that event because oh. we, we were, it was a safety issue. Like we yeah. didn't yeah. want people going overhead with heavy weight on a floor that could be a little bit wet, you know? And, uh, we're a lot of Palooza unless it's, 
I <laughs> think a lot. Oh, I was so totally thinking yeah, about that too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thinking about that too. And so uh, you know, and so a lot of people were bummed out, right? And they wanted to see the the snatch and and you know at least heavy clean this year. And so yeah, we gave it to you. We're giving you your snatch and we're giving you your heavy clean. But Man. I don't know if you're gonna like what you get in the middle. So I enjoy. It. I love this. Yeah. This I, just, I I tell you what I. I, we talk about like you know the one rep max pieces in in competitions and and I uh, part of me just really thinks it's kind of a just a gimme for like your big athlete. It's like all right, fine. It's like it, it's like it's like when they first started throwing the swimming events in the games. It's like the only ones who really did well were the swimmers, and everyone else sucked <laughs> yeah. ass at it. Yeah. Um, I think it's always I think it's important to have the strength pieces in there to have those heavy lifts in there. But I love the fact when you can make your heavy lift, not just a flat out, okay, let's see who can lift heavy. Let's just lift this one weight heavy. You guys put caveats on this. So say, yeah, lift heavy, but now you have this fatigue piece in the middle. So you can't just be a power horse. You can't just be a big old uh, you know, lifter to come out there and do it. You have to have that and have all this other stuff in between because we're going to go ahead and split you in between your your yeah. sets there i i think it's awesome it's a cool and setup snatch too like yeah snatch fresh like the strongest people don't always have the biggest um weights on the snatch right they, they yeah. need the technical aspect too they need to be able to get in those positions and it's such a technical movement yeah like it's one of the highest skill based barbell movements we have so that also does level the playing field in my opinion and you're even though you're still testing it's like oh well i i don't have the mobility it's like okay well that is a key component of fitness i'm sorry like that is that is <laughs> yeah. part of it. so i mean i don't want to gush on this for too long but no it's no it's good. i love it you yeah it. that's a good one yeah. and besides we've been doing a whole bunch of couples before that so we needed something that had some yeah, moving yeah. pieces in it so it was like really cool to see this finally thrown in because everything else had been those blasting couplets which is awesome yeah, yeah. Bill, this is this is the event cat to see what the top order of your top five is and what the order at the end of the weekend is going to look like. This oh, is my yeah, event that I look at as kind of the litmus test of who is the fittest person there. Well, you, I'm gonna you got all you got all your pieces. Yeah. You got your gymnastics. You got your volume. You have your strength, and you got your time. Frame. Yep. I mean, you got a decent time frame on it. Because yeah. without saying it, you still are working an 18 minute time cap. I mean, so you have a minute rest in there. People take a minute rest in a 20 minute yeah. workout all the time anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's not a rest. <laughs> so yeah, like, and, and really the rest between the, the first lift and the the Metcon is just it sucks, man. Like I don't know how to like just go right into it. So I didn't have to think yeah. about all the shitty stuff I'm gonna have to do for the next <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I, the um, you know again coming back to experience on this one too. Four minutes for the one rep max snatch and four minutes for the clean. It, people that know how to how to compete um, at a high level and get their weights on and off the bar, you know where they need to open at in order to hit their number, right? Like that's really that's going to come into play a lot here too, right? So mm -hmm. you, you got to be smart, man. I, and I, I like to think that that's one of the things that we kind of build into our programming as well. Like you can't. For the most part, you can't just go, you know, attack everything. You have can't to be have a dumb jock. Yeah, yeah, you got to be a little bit smart about it. Mm -hmm. I like that. All right, so that's the event seven and eight, two scores yep. to start day three. Again, this is Saturday. Um, all parties playing in this one. Yep. Is that correct? Okay. Yep. And then event nine is uh, Great Knights of Columbus that hurt. <laughs> Great Knights of Columbus that hurt. So, uh, we got a, this is our chipper. So we got a, a 14 minute cap and, uh, we got, uh, dumbbells and sandbags. So, Ooh. um, this, this is a good one. Starts off with uh, 50 double dumbbell front squats, 40 double dumbbell deadlifts, okay. 30 single dumbbell squat snatch. For uh, 55 plus, it's uh, power. Okay. Uh, 20 double dum double dumbbell box stepovers, and then finishes off with 10 sandbag cleans. Now, Ooh. the one nuance on this one is anytime you break on the front squat 
deadlift or step over, you got to go do a sandbag clean. Oh, yeah. So it, this is this sure. is Joe. This is Joe being his <laughs> most evil, right? Like this is Joe twirling his mustache. Oh wow! Thinking like, how evil it, can he be, right? Uh, what's the weight yeah. on the dumbbells? Uh, fifty thirty five. Fifty thirty five. Okay. And, so thirty twenty yeah. ten dumbbell squats, dumbbell deadlift, alternating squat snatches, twenty box step overs. Is it twenty four and twenty? The yep, twenty four and twenty. Yep. And then 10 sandbag cleans, is it 150 and 100? Or? Yeah, 150 and 100. Yep. But every time you break on squats, deads, or stepovers, it's a one clean penalty. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Yeah, and oh. the, bag's like, the bag's down at the other end of the... the oh, okay, so it's further... Yeah, so you have to yeah. run down. Nice, yeah. Because yeah. then I'm like, fine, I'm breaking, boop, back to it. I'm like, damn, <laughs> yeah. it's not that simple. <laughs> Uh, loophole. Well, how do you hold? Oh, I mean, I think we already talked to these guys about it. But the loophole. Where do you have to hold? How can you hold the dumbbells for the front squats? So, for um, up to fifty-five, it is a true front squat. So, so you have to have wrists under the dumbbells. Yeah. Can they sit on your shoulders like where they do that thing behind your head yeah. kind of deal? No. Nope. Stacking them on your shoulders. No. Nope. So it's true front Ooh. rack. Yeah, that's, a, that's a huge Ooh, difference. That's a major. Nobody major. did that in the open. <laughs> Nobody yeah. in I didn't the open. This thing. this thing is BS. The backpack yeah. strap. Front I hate back. that. <laughs> we did squats. We did dumbbell squats the other day, and I was like, "Like, if you guys do this, you're out. Like, Cancel your membership." <laughs> yeah. Good. Well, Good. And when, when you think about the stimulus, right, that you're trying to create in this workout, it, you know, we're, we're trying to to slowly tax the core and legs, right? As you kind of go through it. So when you get to this sandbag clean at the end, it, it's your, your core and legs are trashed, right? And so if you allow the, the trap pillow thing, right? <laughs> the trap pillow. <laughs> you know, it, just, it takes away from that, you know, or the, you know, the, the, I don't even know the other ones, what you would call them. But so that's why we really wanted to go like true front rack. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then we were talking about for the uh, box step over. Where do they have to hold the dumbbell? Is it down in the suitcase? Can it be up on the shoulders? Can it be at the front rack? Where does it have to be? Oh, uh, suitcase. Okay, suitcase. it's got to be hands down. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're saying shoulder or uh, legs and back. Like all I'm looking at is my grip. Right. Yeah, yeah. Like my my hands and like my forearms just not wanting to break, like just sitting in that position. I see that like holding on to it for the, like all I see is just interference before I get to those sandbags. Like yeah. me being able to, um, I think those step overs of just holding him in that suitcase carry position, like that farmer carry position is going to be way more taxing by the time they get there because of these penalties that you have put in. Yeah. That's yeah. what I, that's what I'm looking at right now is just how my form's going to feel by the time I get to these sandbag cleans at the end, that's if I haven't broke yet. Yeah. yeah. Of course, I'm sure it's different for everyone, but that's what I, that's how I, am, well, I'm I, I would also say if you look at the, you know, the, the events across the weekend, right? Like grippy is a theme here mm -hmm. uh, for sure. And, and when, by the time they get to work out nine, they got to hold on to dumbbells for 14 <laughs> minutes, right? Like you're, you're going to have some, uh, you're going to have some hard emotional choices at that point, right? Like you, you can go, but do you want to keep going? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I think the, the, the tempo and the pace. Like, if this, yeah. this, this right here is one of those events that, like, as you're getting ready to start, you're at your lineup, you've talked to your coach, you have your plan A. Like, you need to plan down to, like, plan E, <laughs> because you're yeah. gonna get into this it's gonna be like okay i thought i could do all 50 unbroken nope all right that didn't work out i had to break three times now i'm behind because i already did i had to run down to the end to do the sandbag like i don't want to have to do 15 sandbag cleans before i get to my 10 sandbag cleans you know what i mean yeah. like all the different right. things you need to do and if you if you go if you incorrectly choose your strategy or you incorrectly pace your tempo, oh man, you are putting yourself into a hurt locker. Yeah. I love yeah, it. I, this, this is a, this is a good one. one. 
I love the overlooming stress of a penalty. Yeah, yeah the the penalty is. Uh, I like it just because one, you know, you're looking at the it's a chipper, you know, and so it's like how do you how do you take out some of the, some of their strategy? How do you like hey, I'm going to break up into five sets of ten of the dumbbell front squats? Cool. How do I take that away? I make you get a penalty, you know. Yeah. So what you see is like I think you're going to see people like Bill said pacing their reps using that full, super efficient range of motion, catching that bounce, not trying to just short the squat to, you know, save a half second on each front squat or deadlift even. So it's like, hey, you know, making sure that you're using that full range, being as efficient as possible so you can be smooth the entire time. I think the experienced competitors are going to, one, be able to see the difference between staying stubborn to your game plan, <laughs> which would screw you later, and yeah. also, like, being smart of, like, no, that's, you know, I can keep going. I can finish it. I'll be fine. It just hurts. Or, hey, I'm blowing myself out of the water. I got a break. But my coach said go unbroken, so I'm going to. So it's, like, uh, I think it's going to see a lot of, uh, I think the experienced CrossFitters are going to do the best here. Um, that, experienced competitor, competitors. That penalty makes, like, if you were to take, if you were to just take that little asterisk out, then this mm -hmm. is a completely different race. Oh, 100%. yeah. 100%. Like, not even in the same ballpark setup. Even though it'd be the same numbers, the same weights, the same movements, everything. Like, it is entirely different now that you have that. Because that component of having to walk down, or down, whatever, run down, walk down, and have to do that sandbag clean every single time. I mean, just that amount of time alone, you're looking at, what, 15 seconds? per penalty oh, at least yeah. oh, at least, least. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know that's a that's a that's a big amount of time you know five of those i mean wow that that's this is going to be a good one i can't wait yeah. this is more this is more going to be not like the speed flashy race it's going to be almost like a like a poker game where you have your cards and you're sitting there looking mm -hmm. to see where everyone else is. Do I fold now? Do I drop this? Do I try to stay in? Do I try to bluff? Do I hang? It's going to be a, this will be a wild one to watch because it's going to be such a different tempo and pace and setup than all those other races. That's going to be good. Well done. Be fun. Uh, is there one more today or is that your, your three score, but your two scheduled three scores, two scheduled. Okay. I mean, I didn't think there'd be another one after this. Is a very full day of, of <laughs> but you never know, right? Joe's Joe's on the phone call, so like <laughs> he's like secret one. We're just not even gonna tell the podcast. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, so you have yeah. Sex Panther, and sixty percent of the time it works every time. That's your combined score of snatch and clean weight plus the Metcon in the middle, and then this chipper. Uh, I love the odd object part of the chipper and the penalty. Yeah. I just like Bill said it just. It throws a different wrench that most people don't have in their training, which I love because, like, oh, why don't we do that every once in a while? Just throw in. It's like, yeah, here's your little penalty lap. I like it. All right, so that concludes day three of the Legends Masters Championship. We have our fourth and final day coming up next. Next.